The Star Trek trial is a clinical trial that's testing two different approaches of radiotherapy. And the aim of the study is to see if we can replace the need for radical surgery in patients who have early stage rectal cancer. So patients uh, who are fortunate to present at an early stage, sometimes through the uh, bowel cancer screening program, would normally have a standard treatment, a major operation, and sometimes a temporary or permanent colostomy bag. And what Star Trek is doing is testing two different types of radiotherapy to see if that can replace the need for surgery and deliver a smarter, kinder treatment. I was diagnosed in 2006 with colorectal cancer, uh, and at that time, the uh, treatment was a period of uh, chemo and radiotherapy, followed by a major surgery to remove the rectum. Uh, so I went through that. Uh, after the, the uh, chemo and radio, the tumor had shrunk considerably and could have possibly have gone. But that didn't make any difference. I still had to have the, uh, the full operation to have it removed, which meant that in order to get rid of my body waste, I had to have a, sto a stoma, which is a part of your intestine poking through your stomach and a bag to collect the waste in. So a huge life change, uh, a huge readjustment uh, completely, which took a lot of getting used to physically and emotionally. Uh, and so when Judy had hers, uh, it was a frightening prospect for her uh, that the same thing would happen to her. But then along came the trial. Okay, I was diagnosed with rectal cancer in 2019. Um, I'd had symptoms that worried me. I went to my GP and I was fast-tracked through the system and I was told, yes, that I had cancer and that I would have chemotherapy, radiotherapy and surgery. Uh, which was the conventional treatment um, as it was then. But at the same time as I was told this, uh, Star Trek trials were beginning in Leeds and I was phoned up and recruited to the trial because my cancer was early, it was a stage one, which was exactly what the Star Trek trial was looking for, although I think also stage two cancer is also eligible for the trial. So out of the blue, after having thought that I was going to have to have surgery, I was actually offered this kind of lifeline, I guess, of a treatment that didn't hopefully involve surgery. I had 25 days of chemo and radiotherapy, and then at the end of that time, when I was examined perhaps about a month later, it was found that indeed the treatment had worked and that the cancer had actually disappeared. So I think we've had two very contrasting stories and it's wonderful to see that both Judy and Trevor are so well and actually they are free of cancer. But Trevor's treatment came at a considerable cost. He needed to undergo major surgery, he's had a total of three operations and he has a permanent stoma bag. In contrast, Judy participating in the Star Trek trial has avoided surgery altogether without the need for a colostomy. This type of research has only been possible through the funding of Stand Up to Cancer and Cancer Research UK. And I think it's a fantastic example of how we're pushing the boundaries to improve the outcomes for our patients and provide smarter, kinder treatment.